Sorry about the camera shake there. I was looking to see what the date was. February 12th. I really think the bees have flown more this year, this winter, than they've been clustered up in the hive. It's kind of scary. But at least they're bringing in plenty of pollen. I put some sugar syrup on. Uh, a few days ago, they've actually consumed about maybe half of it. Also put a pollen patty on. We have a day forecasted for later this week. I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. It's supposed to be in the 60s. And I'm probably going to take that time to do a breakdown hive inspection. Seems early, but everything's eight weeks early this year. So what do you do? If I don't stay on top of these hives, and I kind of suspect they were bringing in pollen the second week of January, which means that queen's been in there laying up to 2,000 eggs a day since middle of January. This could get uh, real interesting really quick and start getting them into a swarm mode if they start to get crowded. So I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like it's middle of March, even though it's the, not even the end of the second week of February. What else can you do? I've also got uh, some new chickens coming. I ordered online. Rhode Island Reds, that's my favorite breed. I had Cinnamon Queens that I tried for a couple years. I didn't really care for them. I mean, they were okay. The eggs were not as dark, and they didn't lay as much as the Rhode Island Reds. So the Rhode Island Reds that I had prior to them was just crazy. How many eggs they would lay, and double yolks, triple yolks. <laughs> I really like those eggs. They were a lot of fun. They tasted really good. And I'm also expanding the bee yard. I'm hoping I've got a plan to get the bee yard expanded. Um, I wanted to have uh, 20 hives by the end of last year. And just with the cancer recovery, that did not happen. Um, so I'm going to try to... Uh, Basically anything the way that I operate my homestead is anything I don't get done one year rolls over into the next year and I try to keep my task where I can always get everything completed but there are some years like last year I didn't get the beehive expanded or the bee apiary expanded so I'm going to try to get that done this year and that's really the only thing the chickens and the bees are the only thing I'm going to focus on for right now I may add the goats and rabbits again in the future. Um, I've got a process the way that I do meat and egg chickens that I'm going to record in detail because I never really ever done that in the past and I realized that it's a very efficient way to raise dual purpose birds. Um, so hopefully you can stick around and get to watch that video and me try to get back on my feet post cancer treatment still in the cancer recovery phase but i am going to try to add a little bit more stuff you know the bees and the chickens i'm paying 45 dollars a month for eggs right now at the store that taste horrible they have really thin shells really small eggs i just don't care for them so uh the bees also are a lot of work in early spring and late fall but most other times you know it's not like having goats or rabbits or even chickens really uh, that's not to say that they're easy. Bees are one of the hardest things you can really get into. And I've mentioned this in other videos and I post it online every now and then because people always ask. But if you are new to beekeeping, it's going to cost you $1,000 per beehive to get set up. That is the beehive, the bees, all the equipment to maintain that hive. And you're probably going to lose it. So, generally most people recommend that you start out with two hives. So that's $2,000 you're looking to invest for something that's probably not even going to make it a year. Now your second year, you're probably going to spend about $425 to $450 to replace the two sets of bees you already lost. 
but that's better than paying two thousand dollars so you'll and you will you'll probably lose your first two you know your first bees you'll probably lose the first winter if you if they're still alive by winter you'll probably lose them the first winter so you'll replace them in the spring and if you get lucky they might make it to the following spring but you're probably going to lose one or two of those too <laughs> that's just kind of the way it is it'll take you a couple years to get the experience that it actually takes to maintain bees so bees are a pretty huge investment a lot of people don't realize that but once you get it down it becomes more enjoyable i mean it's always enjoyable but when you're not having to spend out huge amounts of money for something that seems like it's not worth worth it because they just die all the time but you will eventually get it down it's just going to be something that's going to take time and money and then once you know once once you get the skills down it'll be a little bit easier after that but then you'll still have to contend with all the stuff that all beekeepers contend with and that's disease and pests they don't ever go away you got to deal with them all the time i i have lost bees due to both uh, varroa mites i've lost bees from varroa mites i have lost bees from hive beetles uh, it's been a couple years hive beetles in northern kentucky they're hit or miss um, i have i've had some years where hive beetle, beetles were really bad and i've had other years where i never really seen a hive beetle unless it was purpleized in place in the hive um, so you just got to be prepared and know how to deal with all this different stuff the uh, sugar syrup I put on had menthol and some spearmint in it that helps with some other diseases bees can get in the early spring uh, I do have a video up on my uh, medicated sugar syrup I'll link to that in the uh, top right corner of your screen in the info videos or additional videos section whatever they call it that's a really good recipe to know it's been all over the internet for years and years and years I believe I got that off of fat bee man many years ago how he makes it and I just I wrote it down I kept it and one day decided to try it and it it works and I've used it ever since um, Anyways, I'm just sitting here rattling now, but just to let you know, the bees are doing very well. All of my beehives so far are doing pretty good. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.